Damn, Daniel. Back at it again with a fresh podcast. You fuck with Breaking Bad at all? Woo! We just took this party to fucking next lover. That's oh. Ray's ex is called, too. What are you doing in the corner? Just smacking my hand together. It scared me so bad I got a bonus. I am shocked by this hair coming out of my hand. I puke my guts out. Sure, I'm dropping back to run, guys. I'll hit an old man in public. I am your fucking savior. Xavier. 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 podcast. Hello, this is Nerd Shop Podcast. What's I'm up? Matt. I'm Justin. Hello. <laughs> this is episode 58 Ooh. of Nerd Shed. And this intro getting me all kinds of creeped out. You ever get that feeling of like a thousand spiders up your neck and in your dick hole? No, I can't say I have. Well, you're not living. It's all right. It's like Bon Jovi. If you're not living, you're dying, you know? <laughs> living on prayers. <laughs> Lame. <laughs> Uh, um, <laughs> you ever tried drugs? <laughs> if you're a new listener, this is the podcast where we talk about music, movies, video games, and a bunch of other stuff yeah, that well, there, we don't include in that list. There's not even like, you know, a, a whole entire category that can contain all of that nonsense that we yeah. talk about. Yeah. That's it's why okay. we, uh, or that's why I guess why I made that intro. Just so you know what you're in for. Yeah. Because if like, not, then you should turn it off now. But please don't. Sorry, wetting my whistle a little bit. Oh, I was forming flattery over here. What? I was soothing them with my sayings. Oh. Some call me a soothsayer. <laughs> it's some, weird. Some call me a space cowboy, you know? Oh, gangster <laughs> love, aren't you? <laughs> um, uh, nobody's ever called me Maurice, though, so that's a good thing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can like the Nerd Shed on Facebook, and you can follow the Nerd Shed on Instagram. You can go to nerdshed.net. Dope. For more yes. information, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm you're like I'm gassing you oh, up, okay. up right now. And then uh, we have an email address. Fuck you, we do. The Nerd Shed Podcast at the, the, the quietest, like stroked out Richard Flair that I could do. Um, am I forgetting anything? Uh, oh, probably. Uh, you can watch the podcast <laughs> on our YouTube channel. It's that, Nerd Shed TV. That's that's a thing. Yeah, just. Just th- on YouTube, just type in Nerd Shed in the bar and we should come up. Yeah. Pretty sure. And if not, then. If not, do, search do some for us. deep diving. Yeah. You'll I find mean, it you eventually. You could probably find like your ex girlfriend's boyfriend from four years ago or something like that in like 10 seconds. You could find the shed. Yeah. Yeah. You probably even find out where we're at. So don't do that. I don't know. They probably. You just they hear a knock at the door. Yeah. <laughs> Opens <laughs> up. Somebody's just like scratching their fingers across the chalkboard. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Are you in a weird mood today? Yeah. I was born in a weird mood. That's true. That's a hundred percent true. I was also born dead. Fun fact. <laughs> what did they? Can you be you? born then? <laughs> Would it just count as being born once then? If you come out dead? Well, doesn't that happen sometimes? And then they have to like get the heart going. Yeah. Still, stillbirth. Or is that just one like you're totally dead and they don't come back? Stillborn is just like, there's, there's no take back. Okay, well, that's fucking like it, sad. It, it's gone. G A W N, gone. <laughs> oh my god. Speaking oh. of, have you seen Big Mouth on Netflix? I watched the first episode and I. I like a lot of fucked up shit, but that one's a little bit too out there for me. I oh think. no, it, it, it's yeah. uh, <laughs> there's a lot of fucked up shit in it. Don't don't get me wrong. What? <laughs> but the comedy value that is behind it is just oh, uh, just balls. In the first episode, like randomly, all of a sudden, there's a scene where he's like in the gym playing basketball with a gi- bunch of giant dicks, and I was just like, yeah, oh yeah. yeah. There, there's a lot ah. of penis jokes thrown out, which I feel like you would be one of the, like the people that would be drawn to this show of how fucked up it is. I don't know. I mean, I, I, maybe. On it, just doesn't, day. Uh, it doesn't scratch me where I itch, you know? Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of large vaginas in there if you want. <laughs> That's oh, more your style. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll give it a second chance. Huh, well. um, Ain't no prolapse. only happened once, you know? For real? Um, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Is that where the b-hole comes out the b-hole? Pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, prolapse rectum. Oh. That sounds happens. like a really shitty company. It happens during... <laughs> um, Anal sex sometimes, you know, you'll go to pull out. Anal sacks. And then the rectum just 
comes out with your wiener? N never, never been. <laughs> no, I'm not saying it's never been. I've, I've heard it happen. <laughs> I've only destroyed five anuses this week. <laughs> Guilty. I believe they call that like a sodomy. No, like a pick <laughs> flipper or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. Oh, let's go to Urban Nick. Stop Nick. it. Don't pull it up you now. I just no, want to make sure I'm right. graphic descriptions no, behind I, it. I'm not going to Google Just like blue of... off, bro. It's only funny until you look at it. Oh, that's not a real thing. What? Uh, uh, sticking him on my butt, eitis. Apparently, it from might these be guys. Pink sock, actually. <laughs> not ink sock, pink sock. Come on. <laughs> Fucking link sock. That's that's called sausages. It's a link sock. <laughs> it's a bundle of what is kiss like <laughs> Dude, why is my keyboard like timing in it? Dude, why is your computer showing Russian? Is there something you're not telling me? But yeah. the movie. <laughs> Pink sock, according to Urban Dictionary. When you get railed so hard your rectum sags out of your ass. Mm, I'm happy there's a lot of videos that I haven't seen on the internet. <laughs> I have like, seen some <laughs> fucked up shit, but I have not been a part of the pink sock community, so that's I like, a... I like how they have it. Um, I like the little like example down here, and it just says, David says, is that a pink sock? Wesley says, I'm afraid so. <laughs> just to put you in the mood of yeah. the scenario, and like not every time that something's on an urban dick, it's going to be a good thing. <laughs> Most of it's not. No, it's 100% not. Mass Potatoes Johnson, forever. <laughs> mm. Um, so what do you want to dive into first? Not tip burning, that's for sure. What? In the, the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, We can just, you know, hit up the uh, little announcements that came out this week and stuff. Like some okay. Sony deets. Alright, so yeah, we'll go... We got a couple news stories, then we'll go into what people really want to hear about. Yeah. And then we'll do some fucked up shit at the end. Does that sound good to you? Oh, it's all right. Fasten up your seatbelts, boys. Woo! We're going to hit a wall head on. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Did yeah! Do you ever do that sometimes when you're driving? Like you'll be driving over your bridge, and what if, and like in your head, you're just like, what if I were to just like turn the wheel and just drive off this bridge? What would happen? I think that might be depression, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do it a but, lot. Same seas? No, I don't do it a lot. But when I do, usually I'm still alive at the end. So, <laughs> or like you'll be like we driving down just a two lane road, like. One lane, mm. you're in this lane going this way, other lane's coming That's at you. That's a big truck coming and, at me. Yeah, and you just see a truck coming at you, and you're like, what would I do if this person just swerved into my lane? Like, what would I do? Oh. Would I hit, would I play chicken and just hit him head on, or would I try to swerve out of the way? Oh, good call. What if they came into your lane? Life or death scenario. No, that's what I'm saying, is what if they're coming at you and all of a sudden they just get over into your lane and they're coming but right see, at you. See, at that point, like, see, I've gone through this scenario many a times through this thick noggin before, and uh, it always turns out death. So... <laughs> uh, uh, no matter what I, like I always feel like if I go like if they're coming in my lane somebody fell asleep or whatever like I would go into the opposite lane to try to go around them and they're like oh wake up from a deep slumber right. that they're in and then go back into their lane and then we're in a head on collision again like oh this could have been avoided had you stayed asleep the problem <laughs> in the beginning but yeah <laughs> fucking ditch it next time bub that's the best way to take a nap <laughs> a, dirt, a dirt nap a dirt nap, yes. <laughs> I hit that ditch going 85. I only um, fucked it for two seconds. So, I didn't know about this. They're hey, making Jesus. a... Oh, sorry. Got you a little praise, Jesus oh, boy. A tiny praise, Jesus. Um, They're making a Mortal Kombat movie. Did oh, you know dude. This? With uh, James Wan. I feel like we've talked about this. On he, the shed, bro. Is James Wan... He's not the one that had all those tweets. I know right? he's not the only one, but... Is, is he the one that was doing Guardians of the Galaxy or whatever and got no, fired? No, it's James Gunn. Oh, James Gunn. Yeah. Okay. Pew, pew. So yeah. who's James Wan? James Wan is some dude. I'm assuming he's of Asian descent. Well, that's just... That's, uh, that's cultural appropriation right there because his last name's Wan you think he's Asian. I've literally never met a white person with the last name Lee or Wan. <laughs> oh, what's that? He's Asian? Of some degree? You fuck! <laughs> What is the loneliest number that you'll ever do? Oh, like so he, they... he was the writer for Saw. He did a, 
Aquaman he was a writer for. He's a producer on The Conjuring. Oh, so he, he has he directed, some creds. He directed Fast and Furious 7. So, you know, one of the movies I haven't seen in a long time. Yeah. Came out like 12 years ago. See, what else has he written? Oh. Uh, a memoirs of a Geisha? Saw, Saw 3, Dead Silence. That movie was fucked up. Insidious Chapter 2. <laughs> that movie was fucked the Nun, up. Aquaman, Annabelle Cosm's Home. Oh. Oh, okay. It's actually a weird porno. What, Annabelle comes home? Yeah, it's spelled C-U-M-S instead. <laughs> um, Just a lot of doll but, fucking. So, have you seen... <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <dude. laughs> Sorry, cough me on guard. It just, I'm better now. Did you see, like, the original Mortal Kombat movies? Yes! Like I a never... hundred fucking... What was it? Uh, four, I can't remember his name. The dude that had the arms going out of his fucking sides. Started with a G, maybe? I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah. It's been a while. They haunted her, yeah. They're doing this one right. <laughs> this one. Because the other ones were not up to par. One of the Russo it. brothers is on this, too. Ooh, is it Anthony? No, it's Greg. Okay. Nobody cares about him. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's fucking Greg! It's going to be rated R, R, and it's going to have fatalities. Dude! Yeah. It's about goddamn time. Because wasn't the uh, older it Mortal was, Kombat movies were just like Street Fighter movies, kind yeah, of? Yeah, like, it, it, it had... Uh, it wasn't even... There was no gore in it, really. It was more, like, action. Uh, okay. Like, think of fucking... What's that one French dude that everybody knows? I don't know any French dudes. That is in all the acting movies that fucking does karate and shit. But yeah, that guy. Are you talking about Jason Statham? Yeah, he's not French. <laughs> British? <laughs> <laughs> but he's in a lot of action movies. Jean-Claude Van Damme, that bitch. Oh, yeah, okay, I yeah. got you. Yeah. yeah. Good old JCVD, you know? <laughs> it sounds like a disease. Dude. I got the JCVD. <laughs> I mean, the, the last half of it, yeah, on, like, you, you had me there, not gonna lie. Jesus Christ, venereal disease. <laughs> uh, when you <laughs> throw it, elbows, <laughs> bro. I'm over here just like moshing a pit right oh, now. Yeah. yeah. Ow! You ever come in so hot to scratch your head that you punch yourself oh, all yes, the fucking time? Yeah, but official plot details aren't currently known. Yeah, I think they. Oh, maybe it was something else that we saw. Yeah. It was like more Marvel shit. That, but yeah. I'm super excited for this because late 90s Mortal Kombat was not doing it for yeah. me. It didn't scratch my itches. Yeah. It didn't it, touch me in the places that I didn't have no touchy zones on. This says it's very R-rated and will be <laughs> much more like the games. Okay, so when it's very R-rated, are you talking about like mature or just like it's barely R-rated? Like they say fud, f fudge one time and like punch somebody in the chest. No, if there's fatalities, I'm assuming it's going to be pretty gory. Get over here! Okay. <laughs> okay. Like just spines being ripped out of someone's Oh, back. dude. They're going to have, like, uh, they better throw in a spike pit of some sort. Or I'm like... pretty sure on that one island that they all battled Johnny Cage. <laughs> Raiden. <laughs> Mortal Kombat! I like um, Sub, <laughs> Sub Zero's <laughs> face, Hallie. <laughs> Where he just freezes people and then, yeah. like, breaks them apart. No, he freezes them and then takes off their head and then throws their head at their yeah. body. And then, like, it's double explosions. Yeah. <laughs> you, you ever try to put that puzzle back together? Worst 3D puzzle I've ever done. So much blood. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do it within a half an hour or it melts everywhere. Blood's gelatinous. Ooh, dude. Ooh, what the hell is that nonsense up at the top there? I want to get up on that spaceship. Uh, PlayStation VR Iron Man game. That sounds intriguing. Too bad you can't really slaughter a whole entire city in it. <laughs> I'm mm. I'm not a fan of the VR games, you know? I've like, never played one. I just like chilling on the couch with the controller in my hand, you know? Not, not feeling like I'm going to throw up every kind of like 15 seconds. Oh. It's very roller coasty. Coast of... PlayStation 5 is going to be released holiday 2020. Ooh. So we're about a year away. Which is, you know, expected because I'm assuming... When is the new Xboxes and everything coming out? I thought that was coming out, like, soonish. Like, mm. coming into this next year. Oh. Xbox or Xbox? 
Oh. They're just socks that have the letter X on them. It's not that crazy. Just in time for Christmas next <laughs> That's year. That's my name. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, that was good. <laughs> yeah, so they're going to try and release at the same time as the PS5. Okay, so it's going to be another year of battling consoles. Yeah. Which, I mean, it's... That's kind of how it always has been. Yeah. I'm excited because, you know, I'm not going to buy either one. So I really have no, like, drive towards the end of anything right now. These consoles are going to be like $800 probably now. 600 yeah, they're, they're probably Five or pricey. six, I'm assuming. Oh. I think they threw out the price points, but not. The, the PlayStation 5, though, I read is going to be the games for PS4 are going to be able to be playable on it. Yeah, I did see that because there was people going through kind of like checking out if it was yeah. backwards compatible and that's one of the key notes that yeah. they're pointing out saying, yeah, you can play these. That will make it worth it in many people's eyes. And this is saying... What they need to do is just... There's a new controller gonna that's going to have haptic feedback to replace the rumble technology. Honestly, I have no idea what that means. I know spastic. Spastic feedback. No, so like, ah. um, so um, It's going to have different vibrations and stuff. As long as they're good. Different scenarios. So like this says if you're playing a racing game and crash into a wall. Oh, you'll the control, feel. The controller will make a different feeling than if you're playing a football game and get tackled. Okay, so it's gonna it's not just yeah. like on or off. Yeah, there's a, a variety of textures. Ooh, there's four different settings instead yeah. of three. <laughs> That's probably all that happened. And there's also adaptive triggers. So you know it's gonna piss you off. Oh, a hundred percent. And then <laughs> oh. like it's gonna re fucking map itself. Yeah. And like, okay, that's cool. My triangle's up De in the RB. Developers can program the resistance of the triggers so that you feel the tactile sensation of drawing a bow and arrow. Hmm. Or, or accelerating an off-road vehicle through a rocky terrain. Like, who needs this shit? Uh, I don't feel like it you're going to be able to get the feeling of drawing a bow back by... <laughs> <laughs> they don't have a button that's like, all the way back, and like you're just pulling it like a paddle. Dude, what no. they made an like a fucking bow controller? A yeah, like bow a, troller, like an archery game. That That'd would be, be pretty sweet. cool, actually. I, I would be. That's the kind of VR like I want to get about. Like, remember when they had the Tony Hawk game where like the controller was an actual skateboard? Yeah, bring back that kind of shit or that like Wii Fit board yeah. <laughs> that no. Or bring used. back the light gun, dude. Like back in the day, I, just, the I remember the that. Guns. What was uh? I think like. You can play a bunch of almost all yeah. the games on it with the light yeah, gun or like whatever. If the game was a shooter game, you they're could fucking buy the light gun controller. And pew, pew. Their big ass blasted dodo circle sphere. Fun fact: glows on the inside too. <laughs> so, G. <laughs> somebody with way too much time on. Somebody. <laughs> you got a smash mouth, you know. Mm -hmm. I'd rather not. Are you an um, all-star? Hey. <laughs> Somebody is making the GoldenEye game from N64. Yes, 007. They, they're remaking it using the Unreal graphics engine. Good choice. So they're they're using the right, you know, computing power behind it at least. Yeah. Ooh. I still, I kind of wanted to have like... Everything exactly the same as N64, just updated graphic. That's that's it. And as long as that's what they're doing, that would be a great fucking... Don't try to go in and, like, change it, but... Give us what we want. Ooh, look at that bad boy. The fucking boomerang N64 controller. Do you remember this thing? Yeah. Oh, my God. I had one of those. I believe. And if I didn't, I probably did. Yeah, basically, they're just... Remaking the whole game from the ground that, up. That's that's not a bad thing. But my question is And I have four. What's it gonna be for? Like I don't I saw on one of the other pages when I was searching about it that it's just gonna be like released. Oh, for just Windows. Like, just kinda like a computer based yeah. game. You can download from like mini clip or some shit. <laughs> But, but I mean, it has 4,000 followers on Twitter, this GoldenEye25 page. Because oh, they're, they're trying to release it on the 25th anniversary of the game's release. When's that? 2020? Yeah, 2022. Oh, fuck. So this has got like, you know, yeah. a good good portion of two well, years. Almost, almost three years. Uh, well, well, 
PC yeah. release only. Yeah. Right here it says. I'm not a PC gamer, so guess what, guy? I'm not playing your game. Sorry, bub. Why can't they get um like some type of like game studio to get behind this? Or it, to at least help with like distribution, you know? Recycle concepts and like rights and stuff. Like they can make you can make for non profit a Oh, that could be why too like yeah, I'm guessing if, it's if still, they were to try and charge for this, they would have to get like Nintendo licensing, licensing and whatnot. Oh, 100, a thousand percent. Yeah, especially with all the new movies that are going to be coming out for like James Bond and shit. They have a new new era of the Bond. 0017. <laughs> 006. Oh, they're going to go backwards. <laughs> 0069. What's up? <laughs> His name's Chad. He's a really big douche, but <laughs> killed a lot of people last week. He has one gold eye. Oh, is that where they got golden eye from? No. Oh. No, that's where he got golden eye from. Oh. He dyed it. <laughs> Cause I'm too die died. Hush hush. I feel like we've gone through a lot of shit really fast. But not at all. We've talked about three things. Exactly. Ooh, crikey! <laughs> Did you hear about this guy? No. So there's a thirty six year old lawyer who lives in New York. He makes only two hundred and seventy thousand dollars. Oh, you know, it's just, not very much. Just small change. You know, we're, he's bringing in like two hundred after taxes. So he's making one seventy. He's making two hundred and seventy, or yeah, two hundred seventy thousand dollars a year. He lives off of rice and beans. Now, why would he do that? You may ask. Because he saves seventy percent of his salary so that he can retire early. I mean, you know, fucking. Good choice, bud. I wish I I feel like you could retire early in like three years if you wanted to. <laughs> he really doesn't like to work. <laughs> if you're making two hundred and seventy grand a year, all you have to do is work like ten years of your life and you're good, man. Yeah. You can eat a couple like PB and J's every now and then. But listen to this. Get frivolous. So he works in Manhattan. He lives across the river in Jersey. Je- fucking Jersey. So that he doesn't have to pay the high city taxes in Manhattan. He only eats rice and beans. He has one suit per each day of the week. And that's all he wears for clothes. And then he Weekends? Naked. He doesn't use heat in the winter. So he just layers up when he's living in his apartment. Man, you're when it's like computers and shit inside your house probably one one way they yeah. one will will good. <laughs> I have a will. He saved more than four hundred thousand dollars in three years. Oh okay, so this math ain't adding up now. I'm just kidding, I don't know. Seventy percent of two hundred and seventy thousand is like Okay, that's the salary for yeah. take taxes out, hundred and eighty thousand. Seventy percent is <laughs> it's uh, uh, one hundred and thirty-five thousand dollars, one hundred and forty roughly, one twenty-five maybe, one hundred and fifteen at least. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm even talking about anymore. I don't math. <laughs> I'm just letting you go. But thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. So my thing is, I have is this really worth it? Nah. Because I feel like that's a bit. miserable existence. Oh, 100%. What's the point? I mean, I understand, like, you want to retire early. That's cool. I mean, that's everybody's dream. And if that's his way of, like, you know, going about it and he's happy with it, all right. But I feel like you don't have to, like, exclude yourself from, like, all the decent things in life just to... Right, like, just pay your fucking heating bill. Yeah. Why do you want to sit around your apartment when... I mean, get get I'm careless. Guessing, New, is New Jersey similar to here to where, like, in the middle of January, probably. it's, like, minus yeah, 10 Yeah, because if outside? you think about it, Jersey is, like, yeah. if you're going across the, like, the earth and shit, it's probably in, like, the same proximity yeah. away from the equator. Yeah, like, I know even with our heat on, our house gets pretty damn cold. Oh, fuck yeah. Sometimes. It gets bad. Wintertime sucks. So, like, I mean... If he's completely okay with it, and he's just living by himself, I mean, he might have, like, a disorder where he can't talk to anybody anyway, so makes enough money. Heck, bud. I mean, and that's the thing, too. Just get a mobile home at that point. Fuck it. Let's say he can retire when he's, like, 40. Are I you just going to blow it all then? <laughs> he's he's 36 now, so. I mean, I don't know. How long is law school? Mm, 
I think like six, eight years, something like that. Okay, so let's say he became a lawyer when he was twenty-eight. Yeah, you don't, you, you don't see a lot of so, early twenty lawyers. They're all going through like. All right, so let's just even number. Let's say he became a lawyer when he was thirty. So he's been a lawyer for six years now. Who knows when he started doing this? It says he saved what four hundred thousand dollars in three years. So he's still going to only be able to retire probably when he's like what fifty. Which that's, that's like depending well, on if you, you get know, a job when you're eighteen, you can retire at fifty. Like if you get a good job and you stay with the company. Oh yeah, like Ford or some shit yeah. like that. Not like majority of companies anymore. So he's not he's re, he's doing he's living in this miserable existence to retire like yeah. ten years early. And then it's just it's I feel like you know living the now, bro. And I feel like at fifty you're still young enough. Like what are you gonna do? Exactly, you got if plenty you, if you of do life. Retire at fifty. What are you gonna do? But that's a just, lot of years if you stay alive for another 30 years of yeah. just literally doing nothing. Yeah. Like, I mean, find just some hobbies. Work. Invest in some companies if you want. Yeah. But some fucking work, dude. And go out with your friends. Have some brewskis at a yeah. bar. I mean, if I was making that much, like, just set off a little bit of fun money for your brain every now and then. That yeah. it, It's worth it, in my opinion. Money can't buy happiness. It can, but it can buy you a jet ski. And it can buy you tacos. Oh, and tacos thing. are my favorites. It's my favorites, babies. What would you do if you walked up to someone and they just said, Hey, bro, I don't like tacos. They'd probably not be existing anymore. <laughs> Mostly because they just walked up to me. Not because what they said. It's just like, you can't take me off guard like that. I'm going to come out swinging. <laughs> and more like, there's going to be a death had. I don't know by who. Might be me, might be them. I probably wouldn't say... Ah, honestly, wild card, bitches! I probably wouldn't say anything. I'd probably just turn around and walk away. I would just give them a business card that says, it's like, it's all white, and on the back, when they flip it over, it just says, fuck you. Dude, I need the buy. I know, right? I'm gonna start this company. The most fucking straight-to-the-point business card. Like, somebody walks up to you and, like, hey, man, like, you wanna catch a drink someday or something? Like, we can exchange business cards. Like, here you go. Fuck you. Okay, then. All right. <laughs> can we have, call you? <laughs> dude, we could nerd shed Brandley's. Oh, dude. Shed logo, but then, NSB. Yes. But this is, your, phone, your phone's popping up over there. Okay. So, Google, why did you just pop up New Smyrna Beach after I said NSB? <laughs> can you stop telling what I said? <laughs> um, do -do 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 -do. What I was going to say, though, is we could have, like, a variety pack of those. So, like, one could say "fuck you," one could say "eat shit and die," one could say "eat a dick." <laughs> we have a bunch of different yeah. insults for the occasion. Yeah, I'm completely okay with this. Yeah. Once for people that park like assholes, because you've seen these before, like oh, just yeah. little things, just slip in the door, like, "Hey, bud, you're an ass," <laughs> and it's cheap, and we can do it with recycled plastic instead. Good for the environment. Why don't you use paper? No more trees, bro. Use these pop cans and or pop bottles and aluminum business. Aluminium. Cards, that, that's fancy shit, dude. And it, you can also kill people with it in the discard of the evidence. What? You always got to take it to a dark place. Well, I was born in a dark place. Realistically, it was a dark place that I came out <laughs> of. So, whole not a lot light going up in there. Oh, oh, oh. All right, so let's talk about it. Be about it, dude. Let's talk about it. Let's uh it's time. Let's let's get up in there. We're gonna climb in. Bush forced. Bush forced. So over the past week it's pretty much what everybody's been talking about. And if you're not talking about it, then you're probably not the, part of everybody. The film known as Joker. Ooh, Joker and friends. The Jester. Before, <laughs> I saw it. Justin, you said you haven't seen it yet? Nope, we're going oh. this evening. Okay, well, I'm going to ruin it for you, so get ready. I'm just kidding. I was going to say, I'm getting ready to take my, my headphones off and just, <laughs> just stand walk in the out. corner. And just, just, <laughs> all right, I'm going to head out. This is bitch. All right, I'll see you guys. <laughs> uh, no. Now that he's gone. <laughs> but before we get into I'll give I'll give a little review on it. But just before we get into that, before the movie came out, there's all this controversy that, oh, it's so violent, and it's going to make people shoot up schools and yeah, all this stuff. Yeah, it's promoting the incel life. Yeah. yeah, and, you know, it's uh, whatever you want to call it, like normalizing mental health or whatever. Yeah. Or, like, mental know, illness. Because it's not a real thing. Uh, <laughs> or whatever. But now, now that it's come out, there's a whole other issue. During a scene 
There's a song, very famous song, everybody knows it. 1972 Rock Hit, Rock and Roll Part 2 by Gary Glitter. Do you know this song? Probably. I don't know who Gary Glitter is, but... The GG. The Hey Song. Oh, yeah. yeah. We don't get flagged on the... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a bit about it. I heard it. So there's a point in the movie where it's actually this scene. Joker's dancing to this song. Well, apparently the scary glitter guy, he is serving a 16-year prison term for sexual crimes against minors. Basically, what I heard was... um. He had a bunch of kitty porn on his computer. Oh. Ho, ho. But then, like, he went to another country and, like, raped a kid. And then from there went to a different country and then had sex with another kid. Nice. So, so all around, like, not a good person, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Just going to cover all the bases here. Yeah. Oh. The song's inclusion has shocked audi- UK audiences. I will pass on paying to see the Joker movie until they remove convicted pedophile Gary Glitter's song or donate royalties from it to his child abuse charity. Okay, so I'm assuming since he's in prison, he's probably, especially since, you know, majority of music's owned by companies, not the actual people that sing them, he probably doesn't get any of the money from it. And at the time, he probably was a pedophile, but nobody knew. I no, mean, it's, it's, it's like Michael. Just a so- it's yeah. like Michael Jackson. Like, are you gonna literally throw? You, did you throw away all of your Michael Jackson songs? Do you yeah. not tap your foot when "Beat It" comes on? Dude, "Beat It" slaps. Hard. Dude, it does slaps. And you know what slaps even harder? His peep against the little child's back. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> uh. Yeah. Um, we're just gonna edit that one out, and if we don't, no, then hey, we're, we're not, we don't edit our <laughs> No, this is completely uncensored, unfiltered, unregulated, pretty much yeah. unprepped. Yeah, much of the <laughs> criticism is centered on assumptions that glitter was personally profiting from the use of it in the film. Um, but glitter sold away his rights to the recordings and publishing of that song um, more than two decades ago. So, so he's not yeah. Money off it. Yeah, so, so there should be no problem. It's just the fact yeah. that, you know, people have something to bitch yeah. about. Get off your soapboxes and just... And that's the thing, too. Is the song is set in the... Or the song. The movie <laughs> is set in the early 80s. Yeah. When, you know, this kind of shit was so, popular. You that's the thing, to... is they need to use a song from that time period. So, like, you could say, oh, you could put a different song in that scene. But honestly, like... When you see the movie, the song works really well. Okay. I'm super stoked to see it. I I cannot lie. Just like my hips. Yeah. Boy. Oh, I'm going to miss you. All right. Now we're going to dive in more further. Yeah. Hold on. Let me. My throat's been dry this morning for some reason. Cheers, Basil. Sorry, gotta get Joker prep ready. Just in case it sells out, you know? Oh, buying your tickets? Yeah. Was the movie theaters, like, packed when you guys went? Yeah, it was full. Okay. Fucking A, kitten. I'm gonna scream to the top of my lungs and make everybody move. We saw it on... Yes, last Saturday night, so a week ago. Like the day or two after it came out? Yeah, we were gonna go to the matinee, but then... Manatee hour? We ended up not being able to make it until later in the day. Okay. But... Um, can you give a review without revealing too much? Yeah, I would say right off the rip, I'll just say ten out of ten, hands down. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> like n- no, it it didn't uh, unimpress you. No, it's good as shit. Okay, it's, that's all I need. Honestly, for me, it's exactly what I was expecting. Like you hear a lot of reviews of people like saying it was overhyped or there wasn't enough Joker, or it wasn't a comic book movie. I mean, it's yeah. it's it's it's, no. it's the rise but to the joke. It do, it's very dark and it's very it's very sad right at points. Alley. Like watching it, like it's not a, the feel good film of the year. It's it's, it's taking it's, you on the choo choo feels train, bro. Yeah, 
It's like <laughs> you're you want to just walk away smiling. Like no, you want to walk away like contemplating mass suicide. No, no, you just sit there and what? you're like, wow, that's that's sad, and oh, that's even sadder. And oh, okay, yeah, that that's pretty cool, but oh, that's okay, man. Like that's pretty much. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm okay with this. That's that's my life. <laughs> it, it wasn't. That's sad. It wasn't as violent as I thought it would be. I don't know what that was. It was, it was um, dude, Remax! <laughs> yeah. Or G-Mix, if you are a cool guy. Like, people saying how violent it was, it's... A lot of people, I don't know if you heard, they were comparing it to John Wick, which I haven't seen, but I've heard John, John Wick's Wick, pretty... John Wick is just straight up, like, death. casualty, casualty, casualty. Oh, yeah, casualty. 100%. I think the body count in this movie is six. What the fuck? But... So it's just haters at this point. The thing with, like, John Wick, I'm assuming it's your typical action movie to where it's just, like, headshot, headshot, headshot. No, like, they go into... Or is it gory? Dude, like, they go into where he'll, like, fucking jump off of walls and, like, take knives and stab into the side of people's heads and shit. Okay. And, like, cut some throats and different styles of killing. It's not okay. just, like, all pum 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 pum. This one, what I think makes it seem so violent is it's not your typical movie, like, like in, like, a horror movie. Yeah. Where, like, there's, like, the... Yeah. And, yeah, and like you know something's about to happen. Yeah. This one, it's kind of like it's almost just like found footage or something where like you're just watching the guy's life happen. So like something will happen and then he kills oh. he kills someone, but there's like no build up to it. God damn! I'm... So like it kind of catches you off guard, and it's I'm getting it, the goose pimples, getting yeah. excited for it, it. It is super like realistic looking, which I mean yeah. is what everybody kind of wants. If you're getting a fucking real life adaptation of a comic yeah. book, you want it to be a real life adaptation. I feel adaptation. like that's what, that's what makes the movie so intense is just how real they made everything. They cross seem. like comic book into like actual real world shit. Yeah. And that's where like comic books need to start but, going like But that's why Batman <laughs> and the ba the whole Batman universe has always been my favorite is cuz it's not it's not comic booky even though it is a comic book it takes place like in a real city with real people. There's like no superpowers or anything. Yeah, it's just like, it's real. Like it even Bruce happen. Wayne. Like I mean, I understand he's like a he's, multi-billionaire, yeah. but that, it's still possible shit. Yeah, like Jeff Bezos could be Batman. He has enough. Money <laughs> yeah, I mean he doesn't have a wife anymore. I'm not yeah. sure if he has parents. So huh. he might actually be like, and he's bald. So no goatee. I've never seen him rock a goatee. If you notice a tiny tan, <laughs> that's his name on the streets too. Tiny tan. Tiny tan. <laughs> Wait, so can I have another? <laughs> Ass beat. Um, what else was I going to say about the movie? Oh, is the Oscar buzz worthy? I would say so. Okay. J just from, like, you know, not our expertise yeah. opinions. I feel like Joaquin Phoenix did a really, really good job. My only thing is, once you see the movie, and I guess maybe we can talk about it next week, it's not... I don't want to call this a spoiler, but... I think maybe from what I've heard that the movie's called Joker, yeah. not the Joker. Yeah. So they're talking that maybe Joaquin Phoenix's guy like the inspiration. Is, is the inspiration for the real Joker. Yes. Exactly how like have you ever seen the TV show Gotham? Yeah. Kind of like how they did in that, uh, which I'm not trying to like, you know, yeah, with or Jerome anything. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. but like the, it's, it's kind of the same like precedent and lead up to it, mm -hmm. which I'm actually like a super huge fan of. Yeah, because that's like more of the comic books, and uh, you know, comic book movies have kind of started to get away from the actual like fiction they were based yeah. off of. <laughs> and then oh, I'm so excited. Just one more thing to say about it, then we'll get off it. Just because I don't want to say too much, but. There's people saying that um, the Joker is supposed to be like this criminal mastermind or whatever. And the, the character that jo Joaquin Phoenix plays, he's mentally ill, so he's like kind of socially awkward yeah. and doesn't know how to talk to people and like can't speak in public until... He full on becomes the Joker. Yeah, it's his whole entire and then, like. And then you notice the <laughs> shift to where. And he even says it in the movie, like, there's a quote um, that kind of sums it up really well, but once he becomes a Joker, he's able to be himself, and he's finally happy, so he doesn't have, like, the social awkwardness like yeah. he does when, when he was Arthur. He's trying to, like, you know, so, he's throwing in that mental fucking, like, yeah. fuck with you kind of 
backstory behind it because there's a lot of people like oh hey if this is how people would actually act would they be more flamboyant if like yeah. they tro like show their true selves and shit mm -hmm. that's the kind of shit that people want to see in movies yeah. like not i mean i love feel-good movies and shit like funny comedies and stuff but like you also got to see that real shit every now and then pharrell F pharrell williams Farrell. Will. Anyway, very good film. I kind of want to go see it in the theater again, to be honest. I never go see movies in the theater again. I, but how how long was it? A couple hours? Yeah, it's two hours, I think. Okay, that's perfect. But that's ready right to my maximum movie time I want to sit down for. <laughs> I don't need no three and a half hours. Heck off. Heck off, Bob. Oh. Oh, wow. We're just cruising right along here. Yeah, like a PT. Cruising. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is uh, a PT? The coolest car on earth, might I add. Um, Chrysler. Did you watch El Camino yesterday? I have not. We, no. we, we haven't finished Breaking Bad. We're on oh. season five. So we are ge we're ge okay. gearing up right now. We're at the good part. Like, you know, Mike just RIP'd on us. And, uh, Dude, spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> it's only been out for how many years? <laughs> Spoiler alert! Found it. <laughs> um, Not my fault. I can't wait. So I watched this last night because I've been waiting for it since they announced it. I know you have. By the way, not coming out in theaters. It's on Netflix. Right. I saw something. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, it, I, I saw it too. Somebody commented on that like you're in. What? Yeah, yeah. Someone said we're going to the theater to see it. Or I was whatever. like, you're a fucking liar. <laughs> right. <laughs> February. But it, yeah, anyways, go continue. <laughs> um, Sorry, I got to have real fast. <laughs> that irritated me for like at least two minutes last night. <laughs> We're good. Like, yeah, how are you going to go see a movie in theaters that Netflix bought the rights to? <laughs> like, like, heck off, bitch. Yeah. Fox. <laughs> um, Sony presents. Nipples. So this one, so Joker, you know, gave it 10 out of 10. This one. I'd say maybe a six out of ten. Not not what you were maybe expecting. Maybe seven out of ten. Not everything that you so, wanted it to be. So first five minutes in, I'm sitting there and watching. First five minutes, I'm like, oh yeah, ten out of ten already. This is fantastic. <laughs> just leading off but, where it left off. Yeah, but then it's just going on and on and on, and nothing's really happening to be honest. It's so a I'm lot of dragging. Watching, yeah, and I'm just like, okay. And then, like, at the end, like, I felt like nothing really happened. Like, I sat there and watched something for two hours that like, I didn't need Basically, to watch. somebody, like, riding in a car for two hours. Yeah. I loved it because it was cool to be back in the Breaking Bad universe yeah, and yeah. see all the characters and all that kind of stuff. One, is there any guest appearances from the original series that are main, main characters? Um, Without ruining too much? Or is it just kind of like the stuff people that he hung out with? Yeah, it's Badger. No. Yeah, it's Jesse, Skinny Pete, and Badger okay. for most of it. But then there's a flashback with a character from the original show. Well, there's two flashbacks with two different characters from the original show. Okay, I'll just say that. Sweet. Good call. Good um, call. GC, bro. Yeah, like I was saying, it's cool to see all the characters on the screen again and be yeah. back in the Breaking Bad universe or whatever, but besides that... that really, that's kind of the... It gives yeah. you the nostalgia factor, and that's it. Yeah, pretty much. Huh. Even then, it's alright sometimes. Yeah. Like, I feel like it started off pretty strong. Yeah, like they I'm, just like, need I feel a like little... the first half hour was actually pretty good. But then, after, like, I think it would have been cool if they would have made, like, spent a little bit more time on it, dove in a little bit more, and made, like, four 45 minute episodes like make it like a mini series with like yes that's what i thought initially that's what it was gonna yeah. be because it would make more sense i yeah. mean they didn't even have like a breaking bad movie fully yeah. so it was just long ass episodes mm -hmm. which i cherish right yo ho, give me the time girl and free my soul i want to get lost in the booty hole and drift away oh. yeah i guess it was just weird because it's basically just Jesse trying to get out of Albuquerque for two hours. Like, oh, so pack up his life and leave. The, this is just the literally falling off of the last episode for yeah that like couple weeks after. And that's yeah, it. there's. <laughs> I guess because like Breaking Bad, you know, it's heavy with like 
oh, you're dealing with drug people and you're dealing with the DEA and you're dealing yeah. with the police. And there's lots of there's conflicts happening. There's a lot of happening. action <laughs> conflicts happening. And in Jesse's this, life really had nothing else going on in yeah. it besides, you know, cooking meth. Yeah. Oh, spoiler alert again. <laughs> Don't want to ruin it if you just Wait, started. You're telling me they cooked meth in Breaking Bad? Holy fuck. I thought that was Kool-Aid. Oh. oh. oh shit. This explains <laughs> why they had so many tanks. <laughs> That was a super clear filtration process. Yeah, well, I I've so. always wanted to be able to eat crystallized cool aid Now I'm sad. Yeah, so I guess it was kind of unnecessary. I mean, it's cool. Like you can watch it once you finish if you want. I'm I'm gonna have to because I, I mean, like, I'm probably going to regardless, just because it's you know a little bit of extra add on story to already like a great ass fucking yeah legendary film series, if I may say. Like that's gonna go down on like the one of the best like TV shows that Dude, has that's existed. What, <laughs> that's what pisses me off is when people say, "Oh, greatest episode, epi- wow, episode, <laughs> episode, bro, greatest TV show of all time." And like people always say, "The Sopranos." I see. Like, I've never, I never got into it just because it was more of like a. I wouldn't even say like a drama. It, it was a drama. Yeah, for the most part. Like I mean, it was an action drama with some like titties every now and then, I guess, but. I never watched it, so. <laughs> so it's like, have you people not watched Breaking Bad? Oh yeah, it's it, it's just a, the plot is gold. And what I like about Breaking Bad too is it was on regular cable. You yes, didn't, you didn't need HBO Showtime, and they still got away with a lot of shit for oh, it being on regular yeah. cable. Like a lot of shit yeah. that should have. They, 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 2010 was a different kind of fucking outlaw. It's been 10 years, man. Well, that's the thing too is. Because I watch the, because I have the box set or whatever, yeah. so I watch, like, behind the scenes and stuff, because I'm a fucking nerd. It's okay. Um, no shame. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, I guess A&E told them they could get away with one F-bomb per a- episode. AMC? Or ANC. a and a Sorry. American Express. Still waking up here. Oh. I haven't finished my talk. Anyway. I'm the, waking up. The network told them they could get away with one F-bomb per episode. So they always oh, save the f bombs for like really special moments if you pay attention. There was one that was just dropped not that long ago, actually as of yesterday. Oh, Hankleton. Oh, Hank. Oh, yeah. Eisenberg. <laughs> I think my favorite f bomb that almost brought a tear to my eye, and I don't cry at stuff, <laughs> is when Walt know. and Jesse fight in Jesse's house. Oh yeah, and, towards and then, the later of like. Season four, yeah, and or they beat the shit out of each other. Yeah, and then Jesse <laughs> just looks at Walt and is like, "Can you walk?" And Walt's like, "Yeah," and he's like, "Good, then get the fuck, fuck out, out of my <laughs> yeah." And, and I was just like, <laughs> "This is like a fond son. Why are you guys do this to my heart? <laughs> I have a physical attachment to both of you guys now. You're like my family." Yeah. Oh, so hecked, bro. So hecked. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited for all these fun things to watch now. I don't have much more to add since I don't watch a lot of stuff, you know? <laughs> you need to. I know. I'm going to. You I'll need to quit to... playing Rocket League and start watching. Dude, I've not played Rocket League in like a couple weeks. Really? Yeah. Going through the withdrawals? No. <laughs> oh. I haven't, I, I've only played like once, maybe once or twice uh, in the past two months. Oh, excuse me. I don't play a lot anymore. I'm too busy. Being hurt. Pain, pain, pain. Physically or emotionally? Boof with oh. two Fs. Boof. Okay. It's a boof. <laughs> All right. So let's. We got eleven minutes here. Let's do this. Oh. Well, actually, a little bit more than that because remember we started recording early. I can't feel my ass cheeks. Yeah, we got about forty seconds before we even actually. <laughs> so roughly, we got like eleven minutes. Yeah. Seventeen. Twelve. Who knows? We we were doing potty talk last episode. And and inspired me to Ooh. bring up a little bit more potty talk. <laughs> How much depth of potty talking? We're we talking about like a twelve incher here. That much depth of potty talk. Uh, I need a deep basin for my large girthy shits. <laughs> 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 okay. A latrine. I eat a lot of oat. <laughs> um. Bars, meal, you choose. When you pee. Cream pies. What? When you pee. We're talking number one. Ooh. Do you use the little window in the boxers, or do you full on like undo bell? Oh, window boxer, boxer window. Okay, so you just zipper down and it's the easiest way because I I rock a belt majority of times because I got a funny shaped body. So these pants will fall right (laughs) off. 
And... See, yeah. that's my thing, is I always... It's there for a reason. Yeah. There's no other reason for the dick zip to be there other than to, to produce the dick zip to go piss. Before I started wearing a belt, I would just unbutton, unzip, oh, yeah. and then, like, flop it over. Easy process. <laughs> Easy yeah. process. But then, once, once you become a man, and you start wearing a belt every day... <laughs> that's too much. That's a lot of jangles uh, you're making yeah. in the bathroom, uh, Undoing the belt, then unbuttoning, then unzipping. Then Not an option. Because you know and one th thing we don't have in life is time. And then the thing with that, too, is if you're standing at the urinal, your belt is, like... Oh, getting dude. piss all over it because yeah, it's it, hitting it the side into, of the urinal. Like, the urinal and yeah. shit. Like, then you're trying to tuck it back yeah. whilst, whilst grabbing the peep. Like, that's yeah. a lot of happening. You can't force it. Or sometimes it'll, like, go ro rogue and just go, like, right into your piss stream. Oh, yeah. It just, yeah. like, fucking... It, it's just too much of a gamble. Oh, dude. And I hate gambling. So, I lose a lot. Yeah, so now it's just easy to... You just undo the zipper the, and... The best invention on just, Earth. Just... <laughs> Ew. <laughs> yeah. That's what my dick says every time it goes pee. Ew. <laughs> that would be so fucking awkward. <laughs> uh, that's some fucked up shit. We about that. What you know about that? <laughs> it's a good year. <laughs> uh, this water's from 2006. <laughs> Ooh, well, there's probably some bacteria in that. <laughs> oh, yeah. It adds to the flavor. It ferments it. Just last week, oh. only four of our children passed away. <laughs> <laughs> we still have 28, but... Jeez. Yeah, dude. Are you they, Catholic? Mormons. <laughs> Fifteen yeah. wives. You know, Catholic people have a lot of kids because they don't believe in contraception. So they can only make love by reproducing. Yeah, see, I don't leave the house, so uh, I don't know about much. <laughs> Just gonna be honest. Honest. You don't leave the house? Uh, only to come to the shed, and then I go back home. Go to work, and then I go back home. You don't? I go to the store, then go back home. You guys don't go out to eat? Yeah, often. Often or not often? Not, not often. Yeah. You, do you go to the grocery store? I had a granola bar last week. <laughs> do you go to the grocery store? Yes. Do you go to... No. Do you go to like a department store, like a Walmart a or a Kohl's? Target? Yeah, Kohl's is all right. No. No? No, never been. That's a damn lie. I know it is. <laughs> me. That's a hundred percent false, bub. There. Okay. So let's dive into this to round it out. More potty talk. Oh, dude. And we're not talking about the word fuck. <laughs> uh, What's the longest you've gone without pooping? I feel like a day. Really? There, there's never been like a multiple day span of non really? shitting. I have an overactive shitter. You? Four weeks? <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. No. I've once gone three oh. years. <laughs> Biggest shit ever. Four days? Holy mother of tummy <laughs> pains. Did you feel a little rough after? Or during? Um, or beforehand? All all at once. Not really. It was just, it was, it was hanging out in there, like, just holding on. So but what it was, was I went to um, this music festival when I was 14. 13, 14? Called Casa Miata. <laughs> Go to this music festival, and what it is, is basically like a campground, and then they have a stage set up in the middle of the field. That was super Perfect. echoey. Um, <sighs> and it's, I think it was either... Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Friday, Saturday, Sunday it was like a three day thing. Yeah, you just go, you camp out, event. You watch, you watch some bands play, eat some food, not chaps. Go hiking through the woods, Chihill. You know, yeah, Chihill. Was it for church? It was a lot of Christian bands. Yeah, Switchfoot it, go. It, it, it was a Christian music festival, and Switchfoot was there. Whoa, see, knew it. <laughs> How do you know this, dude? I was your friend. I might not have gone with you, but I probably heard about it at okay. least one point. But you didn't hear the part about me not pooping. No, no, definitely okay. not. This is unknown knowledge so, at this point. So I don't know if it was because this was like the first time I was ever away from home for like an extended period of time. Oh, it was 100% that. You know it. <laughs> so that was probably a factor into it. Yeah, a lot of nerves and just not being comfortable in your surroundings. But then also, as I said, it's a campground music festival. The Not only the spot. only bathrooms were porta potties, Ooh, which is my favorite spot to go bathroom in public, where everybody can hear my shit echo for miles. 
So I already have a thing about... <laughs> I already have a thing about... <laughs> I just noticed on that you can hear like the I know, ambience was, of the bathroom. There was echoes. <laughs> uh, no, we're gonna we're gonna appreciate this one. Just a uh, yeah, that's full. Yeah, unreal. that's a hundred percent. Like they're in a porta potty. Yeah. They might be actually. Oh, uh, uh, so I already have like, this right. thing about pooping in public bathrooms. Oh, I can't. So <laughs> that's my thing. I do it a, in bushes. A porta potty. That's a totally different league. That's like, like public with a, an inch of plastic between you. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm basically naked <laughs> minus four little tiny so, walls. But if you think about it, so it's a shower. So there's also the, so there's that factor to it. So I'm away from home for an extended period of time for the first time. There's only porta potties. I'm with a group of people. Who, the only people I know are my cousins. So I really uh, don't know anybody. You're just kind of tag along. So, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, exactly. that was me just the whole time. Like, Hello. <laughs> I am Nancy Lohan. <laughs> no. So, and because we're camping, we're at a music festival, we're not eating like regular food. Yeah, it's all. We're eating food. like potato chips and s'mores and, and snacks <laughs> and peanut butter filled pretzels. That sounds delicious. <laughs> um, Can you get some of those? Do you still have some? Can we eat them? <laughs> These are the questions. I'll I buy need. you some. How about that? No. I'll I buy you some one. and I'll have them here next time. Can you time buy one sure. big one? This one big one. One huge one. This is a lo- this is four jars of peanut butter in a pretzel, but I want it soft baked. Um, but yeah. That, that's, <laughs> I went four days without pooping. <laughs> Wasn't that bad? It Shit was worse. I, I never felt the need to go. I think just because there was a lot going on. <laughs> <laughs> they gave me a shit ton of drugs. Did not even sleep. No, but I would love to. Go back to that. Minus the Christian rock concert. No, I would even go to that, but to have like alcohol or maybe some some <laughs> rooms of the magic kind. I feel like that, that'd be <laughs> like a good time. this is gonna be a fucking. We were meant to live too. <laughs> Woo! Just in the back, fucking lighter or like a Zippo. That's Dude, the thing is, torch. there were some good ass bands there. That's why oh, I went, oh. like Flyleaf was there, which is okay. We'll take this back because, like, early 2000s, Christian Rock had some shit going on for him. Yeah. And I would even classify Flyleaf as almost Christian metal. They were pretty hard. Oh, dude. She... <laughs> <laughs> I will break! <laughs> oh, that one hurt my back. I got to scream that loud again. Huh. But yeah. yeah, Flyleaf and Switchfoot are the only two I really remember. Yeah, that was probably going to be the only there, There's this band I saw... Um, they were like a Christian metalcore band, so they had the breakdowns. Ooh. They're called Inhale, Exhale. Oh, that's probably a lot of breath. I saw them at one of the side stages, and I immediately went to their merch, their merch tent. Bought them all out of everything. No, I, I bought their CD. I still have it over there. It's actually pretty sick. That's how big CDs are nowadays. They come in pamphlets. You flip it open. But then there were, there were a couple other like Christian metal bands or two that played one of the side stages that I watched. It was, it was a good time. Baby Metal showed up at one point. Dude, Baby Metal's sweet. I've, I don't I've get why people like, hate on I've, only, I've literally listened to like a 10 second clip of one of their songs and that's it. Never been. We'll get in there sometime. I'll dive in nice and dip. Get in there like somewhere, you know? Oh, dude. And it does ride the hole. <laughs> Preparation H does feel good. Around the hole. All right, anything else you want to talk about? No, nope, I'm pretty sure we're all filled up with some fucking cock. C A U L K, like a crack. <laughs> Context is everything. <laughs> I literally have nothing else to say after that. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, uh, don't forget to like us on social media. Go to our website, email us. Oh, please do. Please do. Yeah. Watch um, on our YouTube. You can watch the podcast. Yes, please do that. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. If that'll stand over you in the middle of the night, wouldn't super creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like the nerd shit yet? <laughs> Do it. <laughs> all right, and that's all we got. All right, bye. Creep on you next week. Bye, guys. <laughs> the Nerd Shed. New episode.